Hello guys, welcome back to another Blu-ray hunting video. Uh, Saturday morning, up very, very early. It's 9.21 a.m. Um, I think HMV opens at half past nine. Um, I'm here in Cumbran today. Just a very quick uh, visit to Cumbran today. There's only two stores here and maybe a Poundland. Actually, no, there's a Poundland and a charity shop. So we could look in all of them today. Um, I just want to be driving here, there, everywhere because I've got to be home by 12.30. So I've just gotten, just got over three hours uh, really because there's football on today. Um, and I couldn't go tomorrow because i got to do some stuff for my family and stuff. I've got to help out with some DIY. So this was the only time I could fit it in really today. Um, I'm going to see Eternals tonight though. Um, so the review for that will be up the day before this one. So if you did miss that yesterday, go and check it out. Um, that's going to be exciting tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to see Spencer. Uh, which is the new uh, Diana film starring Kristen Stewart. Uh, that review will be up the day after this, so stay tuned and subscribe if you uh, want to see that. <laughs> Love how we always do a cheeky plug before we start. Uh, today's journey, though, um, of the Blu-ray hunting um, phenomenon, that is my life, Movies with James. <laughs> um, we're taking a backtrack. When I went to London, I did my mega London Blu-ray thing. It was amazing. And even when I was there, I even said in the video, like, I was undecided about actually getting these. And, you know, I've decided to to stop collecting this, the Marvel Steelbooks. Um, right now, I'm getting rid of everything but the Avengers ones. Um, kept the Avengers Endgame and the other Avengers one. Just I don't know why, I just did. Uh, but I've kept them for now. So I'm going to trade in all my Mondos. So I've got, and as well as, I guess, Black Widow, which is the new release... Uh, the latest release anyway um so i can get quite good money for that as well as thor here and then we've got black panther um what else have we got here we've got captain america first avenger doctor strange and then the final one is guardians of the galaxy i know i probably could sell these for more if i sold them individually but then if i said if i sent them all out somewhere for like four pound each for posting it probably won't work out um that much different to kex um i'm just gonna get a cash deal for them so i think i'm getting oh it's actually these plus also um godzilla versus kong steelbook but you guys know that because last week i bought the amory version so this was going as well um but for all seven of these i'm managing to get um i think it's 118 pounds something like that maybe 120 uh for all seven some of them getting like maybe 13 14 quid for but as i say if i sold it to somebody on on um facebook or something for 20 quid i'd have to pay four or five quid to post it anyway so kex's price doesn't seem to be that far off and what i've done basically is just sold these and bought them on the two for uh 24 deal which we are going to go and look at today because i want to pick up today i believe it's dr strange and uh yeah that's you know what i need so dr strange and one other so we'll have a look one other when we're there but i bought all the rest uh, in the week on amazon uh dr strange just didn't have prime delivery so i just didn't bother i thought oh, i'll get on the weekend so we'll um we'll take a look at that today in hmv um but first we obviously we gotta go and get rid of these um these steel books and i think my thoughts with steel books is is, is you know i started the steel books and i was only getting dc movies and the thing is with dc movies they don't come out as often as Marvel movies. So what I found now is obviously I bought Black Widow. And by the time I actually bought the Black Widow one, the Shang-Chi one's come up for pre-order now. And then when the Shang-Chi one gets ordered, then, you know, there's, I saw the Ant-Man Mondo one go out released yesterday. And it's just, it's just way too much. Um, one, for my interest in this, in the, you know, in it, I want to have them. Um, but the Amory versions are fine uh, for me, just as a fan of Marvel. Um, and as I say, with DC, there's not as many. I know there's going to be some films coming out in the future, but there's not as many uh, to collect, I guess. Because I've got them all, all the DC ones. It's just much easier. And they're a lot cheaper as well. Uh, the Marvel ones tend to be a bit more expensive. But anyways, I'm just steering away from Steelbooks a little bit uh, just because I don't get the same joy out of other people. I'm not, not knocking Steelbooks. Like, Dune is a movie that I really enjoyed and one that I'm potentially wanting the Steelbook for. So I'm just kind of like select certain movies that i like you know i have a good memory of that film or you know, fond thought of you know you know just it sticks in my mind then i potentially get a steelbook like in the heights i was very disappointed we didn't get a steelbook because that was one film i really enjoyed but we never got a steelbook so that's how i'm going to play my steelbook game right now um but yeah i kind of made a mistake with these ones so again yeah, getting 115 quid cash for these but i know i paid 96 for them like i didn't pay 
a lot for them. And the Godzilla vs Kong thing, Amazon actually gave me a full refund for that, so I didn't even pay for that. So I'm getting like 100% profit from Kex. So it's just easier just to just drop them off. So yeah, I'm gonna do that today. Um, we're also gonna go to HMV, as I said earlier, to go and get Doctor Strange, as well as one other on the two for 24. There's a great Disney sale on. Uh, there's Black Widow in there, which I picked up last week from Amazon. There's Luca as well. Like so two big films that came out in the last like few months you could get for like basically buy one get one free uh, on 4k so that's a really good deal if you haven't got them um so yeah i'm excited to go and check out the disney deal we'll have a look in cex as well there's a poundland opposite then and um some charity shops so let's get going i need to get in there get out we need to get home uh because then i can watch the football for 12 30 so uh yeah let's uh let's go and we're in the first store here in CEX. I see a My United film here. David Tennant starring in this film. This is about the legend of the Busby Babes. Uh, so some My United history. Didn't realise there was a film about this. So intriguing. Fit £5 there. Uh, next we've got Tales from the Crypt and Val Vault of Horror. A £12 double pack. Looks a bit like a slashery type film. Not too sure much about this. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. Uh, next then we've got this nice little booklet type thing. That's the that obscure object um, of desire is called it looks pretty good i like the artwork of this and the build quality is very very nice and um, that is a 10 pound uh, pickup there for that movie and then we get a green case here called toxic avenger part three uh, this looks really really cool the last temptation of toxie 88 films release uh, Dr. Foster here, series 2 for £5, that stars Saran Jones, series I've never seen but I've heard very, very good things about. Um, and then we've got Doom Patrol Season 1 and Doom Patrol Season 2, both £10 each. Um, and this is a, a DC uh, TV series, uh, very intriguing that is. And uh, we also have another triple pack here for Hotel Transylvania for £10 for the three movies. That is a very, very good deal. Uh, so we've got number three, number two, and then number one. Uh, now we're going to go into Poundland. Let's take a look what we can see here. Um, let's have a little look. There's a, quite a fair selection of Blu-rays, but it doesn't seem to be much more than before. They've got some Kevin Bacon there, some Twilight, some Elegy. Uh, Public Enemies is a film I really wanted to see over the years. Born Identity, Scorpion King, Warcraft, The Take, basically the same old. Pitch Perfect 3, Non-Stop, King's Speech. As I say, everything we've always seen before. Next door though, British Art Foundation. Let's have a look in here. There's never been much Blu-ray, so we'll take a look. I can see one there right on the shelf. I think it's a kid's one. Yep, Despicable Me. Uh, that's a pound. And then the wonderful um, Christmas film that looks like. Uh, Divergent with a slipcover for a pound. That is very, very nice. Um, there's also Pompeii for a pound. Very, very nice with the lenticular, that is actually. And then we've got Red 2 for a pound um, as well with the slipcover. There's also Cowboys and Aliens, but that's three pounds. So every other thing is a pound, but that's three, so that's weird. Uh, let's jump into HMV now and take a look what we can find there. Uh, we have got um, in the first thing there Transformers the movie. This is like a 70s re release in 4K. We've got a slipcover on there as well as uh, a steelbook, which does look very nice never seen it never even heard of it really um not, wasn't part of my childhood so it must be um pretty old but yeah nice looking nonetheless um if, if you if you're into that type of thing uh, and then we've got a film i missed in the cinema called old wanted to see this but um yeah it's out now on re on, on release at uh, 24.99 there for the 4k and then we've got this is the disney offer so two for 10 on dvd two for 12 on blu-ray and two for 24 on 4k and this is just some of the selection there. there's also um some fox titles there you can see kingsman and greater showman there so it's not just the disney stuff it's also the fox stuff as well so yeah nice offers there um these are some of the ones though that i wanted to look at today and check out this is chaos walking um this is meant to be 15 pound now yeah it is 15 pound um from the full 20 but then there's also the steelbook which is meant to be the same uh, but it's not 29.99 here so maybe if i ask they'll reduce it but it should be the same price as i saw in other people's videos um let's take a look though there's a few more disney titles here raya and the last dragon that's a two for 24 um i still haven't seen it I still need to watch that film to be honest with you uh, and then we've also got another new disney film which uh, is in the offer and that is mulan um again i really enjoyed this when this came out really did uh, like this a lot there we go then back in the car back in the car 
It's really warm actually out there. Well, not warm out there, but warm in my coat when I'm out there. Oh, right, so four pickups. I'm gonna do the pickups here in the car because it's probably with the lighting. The lighting seems quite good. So, um, yeah, four pickups uh, from basically everyone apart from Poundland. I don't even know. I'm giving up. I have got an update actually. I went into an Asda's the other day, like a local Asda's, and they had the Music Magpie thing. They were just doing the CDs though, but they did have a sign saying DVDs, Blu rays, and CDs, but they just had CDs out. So maybe they're starting to, you know, be there now and stuff. And yeah, hopefully that goes well. So I did get rid of the Marvel uh, movies, obviously, the uh, Steelbooks. Let me just readjust. Let me just readjust, readjust the camera there. Yeah, so they've gone. It's a uh, bit of sweet, I bet. It's, uh, getting rid of them for that price without the Disney offer doesn't make sense. And normally the Disney offer is like two for 30. And that's what I was like, I was like, oh, even that's not, you know, thing. But the fact that they're like 12 pound per title, not 15, means that we can replace more and kind of get some back. Um, So I'm very happy to now officially have those back. So we'll start with that um in terms of what i picked up in hmv so obviously i got dr strange in because that was the one we needed so i wanted to get one other two for 24. um one of the reasons why i wanted to get this one was obviously because i was selling one of the steel books and i already ordered um all the other ones on amazon which uh you know uh, they're already at home so i didn't need uh to get every other one of them just this one today but it's an immaculate slip cover because i'm always panicking about that and amazon's ones weren't the best the other week they had a few little dents here and scratches and stuff um so pretty happy to just be able to choose the slip cover which was nice um so yeah doctor strange i really need to watch this again i'm hoping this comes out on my random marvel movie thing soon because uh yeah it's a good film i really enjoyed doctor strange but yeah, there's Doctor Strange. So that was the first one for £24. Uh, two for £24, rather. So the other half of that then. Um, I obviously, I said I, I got all my Marvels. Um, so I was looking and I picked up Soul. Uh, I'm obviously getting my, my Disney Pixar ones in. And these are, these covers are not like the Zavi ones. Um, so that's the only negative to it. But, you know, I've got the film nonetheless. It's a great film. And, you know, for 12 quid, I, uh, I couldn't go wrong, really. Um... So, yeah, we're just going to continue this trend of the Disney, Pixar, as well as Marvel films. I could have got more Marvel films, like Marvel films I haven't got. Uh, but I just thought, nah, I'll just balance it out a bit, you know. Um, and, yeah, so, so, so I'm happy happy for this film as well. Uh, this is one that came out, I think, on Christmas Day, actually, last year on Disney+. Plus. So um, I need to watch this again because I think I watched it last Christmas. But yeah, so Soul and well as Doctor Strange. They're the two for 24s uh, from HMV. So happy days. Then I got two more pickups and both of these are Blu-rays. Um, one in, would you believe it, in the charity shop. Another in Kex. So we'll do the Kex one first. This was, if you've been watching these Blu-ray hunts for the last few weeks, you would know uh, that I've been getting James Bond movies and this one i've never seen in kex before so i was all over it die another day this is the what well not first but this is my first um piers brosnan bond movie we've got that lovely spine which means they'll all line up but a fiver happy days and as i say i've never seen this in the kex store so it was like the first thing i saw on the top like obviously because they have the the bond movies at the beginning for 007 obviously so so yeah, this is one, as I say, I've never seen Ink X. So this is my first P.S. Brosnan movie, so we'll keep an eye out for those. They did have another title in there, but I think it was seven quid. I can't remember what that was called. The seven or eight quid, maybe eight quid, I think it was. So I didn't bother, um, but I thought I'd get this one uh, for five, just to add it in right now. So that's good. P.S. Brosnan movies are the ones I watched growing up. I remember them being on TV and stuff, but um, yeah, I'm... I'm I'm curious to watch these ones again because these 2002, you know, that era was, you know, very much when I was getting into film, really. So, yeah, die another day. And now I've got my final pickup here. This is the last Blu-ray and this is the charity shop pickup. And I grabbed Pompeii with a lenticular slipcover and for a quid, a Blu-ray for a pound. Everyone shout out, tell Big Paulie they sell pound Blu-rays in in <laughs> in British Heart Foundation by me yeah pound uh, they had some titles they had cowboys and aliens in there for three quid which i filmed but then they had some for a pound so i think they're either either the all the stuff coming through now are like marked as a pound and then the one there was only one that was three quid they even had blu-rays on the 50 pence each of three for a pound 
deal. I was looking at one, it was the artist, and I was like, oh, I would get that. But I couldn't see any of the other two. I was looking, and they had, they had a Hunger Games title there, and they had something else. But yeah, I would have had like Cowboys and Aliens, that and this, you know, if they were all 50p, but they weren't. So anyways, this is a, a great looking slip cover. As you can see, not much damage on it at all. And because it's in a slip cover, the case itself is like scratch free. So that looks nice as well, Pompeii. And then at the front then we've got, well inside rather, we've got uh, artwork. So um, no, this is a film I think I filmed in the past on the Blu-ray hunting uh, videos. And somebody did say, I think I had a comment saying, you know, you should, you should check it out. I'm into all my movies like this, like 300 was, was a movie I watched recently and I like all those stuff. This actually stars Kit Harrington, who is Jon Snow. Uh, you can see him better on the back there. And it's also got Keith uh, Sutherland, who is on um, 24. So a good cast. I'm I'm looking forward to watching this, to be honest with you. Who's it directed by then? Oh, Paul W.S. Anderson. Clinton Shorter does the music. So Kit Harrington, Carrie Ann Moss, Emily Browning, Ad Adele Akunde. Oh, I, I know him. I don't know how to say it. Adewale Akunde. He's on um, Lost. I'm sure he was. Uh, Jessica Lewis with Jared uh, Harris. Uh, oh, Jared Harris. That's pretty cool. I think he's on Foundation. And Kiefer Sutherland. I think so. But yeah, Pompeii, no warning, no escape, pound with a nice uh, slip cover. And um, yeah, I'm happy I went in the chat shop. I'm glad I mentioned that on the vlog because I wasn't going to uh, I wasn't going to go in there. But um, yeah, there's today's Blu-ray hunt. Uh, very quick, very rushed, filmed over like two, three hours. And we're only in one place. Um, you know, I think it's good to take a break off other places anyway. I think next week we're going to be do Bridgend. I haven't been to Bridgend for a while. So it may be Bridgend, Barry and Cardiff potentially. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but maybe just Bridgend and Barry. Uh, so that's going to be next week. So that's going to be exciting. I haven't been to those Keck stores in a while. Um, this month, we're still on our horror. We're still looking for our James Bond movies. Just because Halloween's over doesn't mean to say I'm not looking for horrors. Just didn't see any today uh, that I wanted. Um, but yeah, all is good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, Blu-ray hunting video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the continued support. And I am literally on the road to 1,000 subscribers now. So once I get to 1,000, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, very much what I did like before. Um, so every 500 would be doing a giveaway so if you want to be part of that please subscribe and um yeah let me know your thoughts on the channel so far down below because this last like seven months of this channel has just been like crazy so uh yeah thanks for all the support and i hope you guys enjoyed subscribe stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>